till now we saw different videos on ai we saw what is gen ai we saw different tools in the ide like codium which, which you can leverage for uh, github copilot kind of a feature we saw what is prompt engineering we saw what is rag architectures and finally we ended up with small language models in this video we're going to go completely hands on using prompt engineering we're going to leverage a language model by running them locally and using it in a spring application let's get started Olama is a tool using which we can run these models locally in our laptop. I'm going to show you how we can run these models locally and also I'm going to use that in my Spring AI application which we are going to develop. To install Olama, you can download Olama from olama.com. You can use it in your Mac, Linux and also for Windows. I have a Mac so I have already installed it in my terminal here. If, you, if I come here, I can show Olama help. It will show me the list of available commands which I can use. To start Olama, you can do Olama serve. If you need to create a new model, you can do Olama create. But I'm going to run an existing Olama model. So I can do Olama run and then give that model name. However, I already downloaded or I already ran some Olama models. So in order to see what are the different models I have in my local machine, I can do Olama list. So the moment I do it, I can see there are two models, the Pi 3 from Microsoft and Llama from Meta. I used Llama a couple of um, weeks ago and yesterday I tried using the Pi 3. So in this video, I'm going to show you by using the Pi 3 model, uh, which is the Microsoft's latest version of the small language model. In order to run these models locally, you can just, it's pretty simple. You can just do Olama run and then Pi 3 or Llama 3. If you have some other model, something like Mistral or something which you want to run here, you can give the model name and the model gets downloaded on the fly when you run the uh, model using this command. So in this case, I already have the, uh, the Phi 3 locally present. So it automatically came in, right? So I don't have to do anything. So to talk to the Phi 3 model, I can just talk in this terminal. I can say, I'm Ajay. How are you doing? So... So the Phi 3 is returning saying, hello Ajay, I'm an AI. So I don't have feelings, but I'm functionally perfect. I'm functioning perfectly and ready to assist you. How can I help you today? So we have a model running locally, right? I don't have to spend um, money in accessing some of these uh, paid versions of these LLMs. Now, how do we use it in an application? So Spring AI, if you are a fan of Spring, Spring has created a Spring AI library and set of libraries using which you can access these models from your local to your open api or maybe azure open api so i'm going to show you how you can leverage it to connect to olama so i'm going to use a java application in the future videos i'll be doing python using rag architectures so if you are a fan of python just allow me some time to make those videos but if you are a fan of java this is the video for you so using spring ai we are going to connect to the open ai we're going to connect to the llms so i'm going to say com tech primers dot ai the artifact name i'm going to give is spring ai example The package name, I'm just going to remove Spring DI. So I'm going to use Java 17 with JAR packaging. Also, the dependencies, we need to have the Spring Web dependency because I'm going to expose it as a web endpoint. Also, we are going to use Olama, right? So I'm going to use the Olama AI, which is going to connect to my Olama APIs locally, right? So I'm going to select Olama. So I need the Olama library to connect to my LLM. So let me generate this project and open it in IntelliJ. So we got the project open. Let me maximize this. So it's a dummy vanilla project. We have the default files and nothing much. Let me now create a controller to connect uh, or to expose an endpoint for us to interact with the model. So I'm going to call this as, let's say, hello controller, our usual style. So this hello controller, I'm going to expose a hello endpoint because I want to say hello to the model first before even getting started. So I'm just going to say, I'm exposing a rest controller. I'll just request a get mapping, which is going to be hello endpoint. 
and I'm going to return maybe string or something hello right here now we are going to return we are not going to return hello world but um, I'm going to return we are not going to do this we are not going to return hello world instead I'm going to talk to the AI model so in order to talk to the AI model I need to use the chat client so there is something called chat client which is again provided by the spring AI framework I can use the chat client uh, my intelligence in the IntelliJ is automatically like giving me the suggestion, so I'm going to accept it. Again, this is um, used by CodeM, so I'm just leveraging that. Um, so chat client, I'm creating a version of chat client so that I can use use here. So I can do a chat client dot prompt. So I'm going to prompt to call or to talk to the um, LLM. Now, if you see the uh, the prompt methods um, argument, it expects a prompt. So let me create a prompt. So I'll create a prompt. So in order to create a prompt, I need to create this prompt from a prompt template, right? So I'm going to say prompt template dot create. And I need to create this prompt template. because this prompt template allows me to give a message, right? So I'm gonna say, hello, or let me extract this into a message. So I'm just saying, hello, I'm Ajay from Tech Primers. You are being used in a demo, right? I'm just telling the model that I'm going to use you in a demo, right? Let's see what it uh, corresponds with. So, and once we get the re uh, response, let's see what type of response this guy returns. It's returning me. Uh, so I'm just doing a prompt dot call so that it can uh, return me a response because earlier it was just returning me a, um, a response. Now let me do a response spec so I can do a um, dot chat response and I can do get results. So from the chat response, I'm going to do the get results and then get results from the get results. I'm going to just uh, here again, again, I'm going to change this to return to list of generation. Let's see what happens. So I'll change this to the list of generations. So that's what we are going to get in the uh, response. Meanwhile, I also need to configure it to connect to my uh, local LLM, right? So by default, since we selected Olama, it uses the local host to connect to the local LLM. But we also need to provide some um, uh, models, right? So we want to provide some um, uh, model name, right? What type of model we are connecting to, right? So I'm going to use spring.ai.olama. Um, since we are going to use chat options, I am just going to say chat options dot model equal to five three. Since this is the model name which we are using, I am going to use it. If you are using Llama three, you can use Llama three as well. I am using the Py three, so I am using the Py three. So there are also other options for Spring AI. You can take a look at the documentation for that. So right now I just created a hello controller to just say hello. Let me see if it works so that they, we can proceed in creating a prompt later. In fact, now I realize that I cannot inject the chat client directly. I just blindly believed what um, the IntelliJ suggested. Uh, however, what we generally have to do is we can inject the chat client builder and then do a build, right? chat line builder because I think yeah so chat line builder is present in the spring boot application so I can use chat client builder to build it and inject it as a chat client right so see here now things are good um, I yeah sometimes I shouldn't believe what the AI says so this is a classic example of that <laughs> so we got an error uh, let me go to the 
terminal i'm going to i'm going to call the http get endpoint i'm going to say hello to my api so this is going to call the llm which is hosted on olama and it is going to return me back so what it is calling with it is calling with the hello i am ajay from tech primers you are being used in a demo right let's see what the response comes back with yeah i think we got the response back this is the response type for the generation so we saw that we were returning a list of generation so this is just one particular metadata so we have an output we can filter out using that uh, if you want only the output on the content so it says that hello ajay from tech primers it's great to be part of your demonstration as an ai developed by microsoft i'm here to provide assistance and answer any questions you might have on the technology related topic let me know how can i help enhance your demo so this is working as expected so from a spring boot application we are now connected with the uh, llm right using spring ai so we can use the chat client we can use the prompt templates and the prompts to connect to the chat client to get a response now i'm going to create a prompt so whatever we did here is just like a hello message but i also want to let's say um uh, get top trending destinations right um where i can go in august right so i am planning for a trip let's say i want to like um, know what are the top trending destinations which i can go in august right i'm going to create a prop controller for that so i'm just going to use the get mapping for now to keep it simple um so we are going to say trending do public list of generation again so here i want to return these uh, top destinations right so i can copy whatever i did here it's going to be the same so i don't want to do something different the only difference is i'm just prompting um, saying that i want some specific information right so i'm going to use um, the message to say the prompt so i want to i would like to no the top five let's do five right top five trending ta destinations destinations which i can visit in august and also i need to mention to the prompt that if it is not able to find anything right if it is not able to find some information um i can just say that please sorry i am not able to help you or something like that so i'm going to mention that if you are not able to find please respond with apologies apologies ajay i cannot help you right now so that way we are now prompting the um, llm or the ai to specifically respond with a message right that apologies as i i cannot help you right now because i don't know about that right so you can customize this to anything if you are developing an application you can respond with specific needs for the application so that is the power of uh, the prompting right so here i'm just prompting a simple thing i would like to know the top five trending destinations which i can visit in august right and i am able to Uh, get the response here so i need to inject the chat client so i'm going to create a chat client field i'll also create it as a constructor parameter so i'm just saying dot builder So I think we are good. Let me restart this, and now we should be able to hit the prompt controller, right, with the prompt endpoint, with the trending endpoint, and we should be able to get the uh, top five trending destinations which I can visit in August. So let me do that. So I'm just hitting slash trending. 
So they should go talk to Olama and then figure out the trending destinations. Let's see what it responds with. So see here I got the response. Apologies as a as an AI developer, I don't have real time access to current database or trending destinations. Okay, looks like it doesn't have trending destinations. That's why it is saying that I don't have. Uh, trending destination. However, typically uh, the popular destinations in August can include places like the Caribbean in the lands. Um, okay, so it is still returning, but it is saying that it doesn't have the trends. So that basically means it's not connected to the internet and it is giving me the data, whatever it has, until like August 23rd, right? So you see here, uh, that's what it is doing. Now I'm going to slightly modify this prompt uh, so that it can be useful for us. Let me open the ID. So I would like to know the top five destinations. So just I added one word called trending and imagine how this is going to change the response for the whole AI, right? So I'm just removing trending. I'm just saying uh, I would like to know the top five destinations which I can visit in August and I refreshed, restarted my server. Let me call the API again. So this is now going to talk to the Olama, talk to the, uh, the Pi3 model. And I hope we are going to get five different uh, destinations which we can visit in August, right? So that's my expectation. Let's see what happens here. Well, uh, we got a lot of response. So, so it still says that apologies as I don't have real time data access, but I can guide you on how to find top destinations for August based on various popular travel sources, right? So here are some globally renowned locations that are often considered attractively in August. So it is given Florida as one, Sydney, Australia as the number two option, Rome, Italy as the next, Barcelona, Spain, and finally, uh, Queensland, Australia. So these are some of the popular destinations which um, the LLM is responding with, right? So you can, again, you can ask it to do anything. Right now, I have not trained with any of the specific data models which I have. I don't want to as well. I want to use the AI to leverage its existing knowledge which uh, people have pre-trained with and I have been and I have done that here and I also have shown you how you can leverage Spring AI to connect to a LLM. If you're using OpenAI, it's almost similar. You need to use the Open API library. You might have to use the API key and stuff like that. If you're interested, do let me know. I can show you with Azure Open API. I can create an Azure Open API instance, deploy the models, and then I can maybe uh, try showing you that as well, right, if you're interested. As always, I hope you were able to understand how we can use the LLMs to run them locally and how you can talk to them using Spring AI libraries. Do let me know if you want me to make any specific video on AI going forward. I'll be doing a lot of hands-on videos around these using both Python and Java libraries. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.